Hey guys, we've both been on Conan and intoxicated on live television. We're gonna do it right now again. Welcome to Impaired. I need help. <laughs> this former teen idol turned comedian, Grant Carter has been blazing across America, being a part of the Oddball Comedy Tour. You've seen him on MTV's Jerks with Cameras. From the whitest place in America, Catalina Islands, California, here he is, Grant Carter! <laughs> this charismatic Caucasian Canadian weighs in an outstanding 11 stones and 9 pence. He's been a part of the Edinburgh Comedy Festival and is currently writing for the Jim Jeffrey Show. His hair is so goddamn pretty that Canada might perhaps name him the next Prime Minister from Nova Scotia. Let's welcome J.J. Hey gang, uh, we're here and uh, we are having a good time already. Welcome our guests, JJ and Grant, everybody. Yay. Hey, welcome Woo! guys, thank you. Thank you. Fuck yeah, how you guys doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. good. Settling in. Smoking a little weed, having <laughs> a couple of drinks. You guys enjoying it out so far? I'm already high and I'm two Twinkies deep. Yeah! <laughs> and I see a third one on the horizon. <laughs> Eat them, I can't touch the things. So. Why? They're delicious. Well, I don't we know, they look show. delicious, oh. but they don't taste delicious. Maybe. I know it's fat guy sacrilege, but... But apparently they could survive the apocalypse. Yeah. Maybe that's what people say. These things are cockroaches. But that's I think, that, alive, but I think that's bullshit. I don't buy into that. Well, let's wait and so see. So you survive the apocalypse. the apocalypse to have diabetes a year later? Because all you've eaten is Twinkies? I just don't buy that Twinkies are going to be the thing that's left. Well, you got to get into it, man. you got to believe. you got to believe. you got to believe. There's a lot like more important like things to fight and, for uh, in life than like, fight for dying on this hill. I will die on every hill. I just have no faith in I don't Twinkies, like hills. Man. I don't like hills. Okay. It tastes like the apocalypse, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, not that I'm an authority on Twinkies, but that looks like it's already stale. Mm. No, so. no, they don't get stale, that's the point of it. I'm gonna dive into this. Uh, no, every episode we have a, a secret word uh, that if somebody says it, uh, we're gonna hear this. Alabaster. And then everybody will drink or smoke, and then actually, last episode is the first episode that we've ever done where somebody didn't get it. It did not happen. We never hit the secret oh, word. So Can we find out what that secret word was now? There were like 10 of them. <laughs> there were 10 oh, words. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so, so we're all liars. You cheat the system and somebody still didn't get it. Can I say something? Well, we're really happy that the bar's been set that low. We I think cheat I've every got, system. I've got hopes for this one. I think, I I think we're going to get it. All right. Twinkie. Twinkie! Uh, Cheeto! We'll start with a shot. Uh, me and JJ are gonna take one. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Uh, we'll take an enormous shot. Wow. That is a big shot. We gotta take a toast. Cheers, gang. Cheers, fellas. To an episode, eh? Pretty good, though, huh? Delicious! Pretty good, though. Not the word. No, you didn't like it? It was tasty. I thought it was delicious. Uh, tequila, tequila, lime, <coughs> uh, splash of crayon, a uh, splash of ginger ale, and then a splash of simple syrup. I call that shot JC's drunk and just throwing things into a glass. Uh, so if you want to make that one at home, it's a good one. Sounds like it would cost fourteen ninety five at a yeah. bar. It would cost more than that at oh, a yeah. bar. But you get it with a... An orange swirl. And then also, the shots I poured for us were at least doubles. It's the recipe on the website. They could. They readily, can't find it on the available? website. <laughs> we have a website? <laughs> they, have to, they have to just listen and listen well. <laughs> yeah, just or they're the fucked. Best bartender ever. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it already. Listen right. in or you're fucked. Or that's a kata you just slammed. <laughs> Chris, now tell me about what I'm smoking in this pen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell them, tell uh, them. Well, that is a disposable pen, not my favorite. The pens that uh, we prefer to smoke, we do smoke pens on the show, are uh, Bonsai Vapes because they are nice enough to donate. Uh, to the show. Uh, what I'm smoking, this is Skywalker OG. The winner of the BYOB segment at the end of the show will get a uh, Snoop Dogg OG. Oh, hell yeah, sick product placement. We know he smokes <laughs> weed. 
believed it. I think Snoop Dogg would do anything you want for like 5,000 bucks. <laughs> you could get him on this show, for like say like five grand, he could smoke weed, he'll be like, oh, it's cool, I'll be there. Grant, you're, oh, you're way overextending what our budget is. <laughs> well, let's do a Kickstarter. Guys, click the link below to right subscribe to the Kickstarter to get Snoop, Snoop Dogg, Dogg on this fucking show. Dreams can come true. <laughs> Grant's also doing a trend that we've had with every episode, which is the guests are better hosts than me. <laughs> it's a constant... That's not true. Yeah, man, I haven't made you a drink. You want to so, make me one? You're a great host. Thanks, bud. Uh, you want to jump into our first game? I love this game. Uh, it's our first time playing it. It's very simple. <laughs> Wait a minute. You love it, but you haven't played it's it. It's called before. Drink the Rest oh, of Whatever Was in I the say, Shaker. Can I say something? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will love it, too. I'm the only one with the answers. <laughs> it's a little game. Okay. It's called I'm God. <laughs> Me and Chris are both from Florida, and it's a little game I like to call Man from Florida, or Florida Man, or Wild Animal. Okay. I'm going to read okay. you a headline. Right. I'm going to say, in the headline, I'll say blank, and that is either a wild animal or a man from Florida. All right. All right, ready to rock? Okay. Feeling it? All right, we'll start with the first one. Ready? Everyone take their answers, and we'll figure it out. Contractor. Left bloody after blank attack. Chris? I'm going to say Florida man. Florida man. I'm going to say animal on that one because... Wild animal. Yeah, I think this is self-induced uh, nail gun wound. Okay. I want to say I'm going with. alligator. Alligator. In a pool. The answer is a wild animal. It's a wild animal gang. It's a cougar. Ooh. A cougar attacked a contractor. Suck at this die? game! Huh? Did he die? I didn't read that far. I only got the headlines because I did the research on this. Normally, Chris Cope does our research, and it's terrible. But, but it's I felt that I should do as bad a job as he <laughs> but does. But there's more of it. That's true. I've been proven right. You guys, if you donate to our Kickstarter at the $100 <laughs> mark, you can find out if the contractor lived or died. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. Click the link below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Already killing it. Alaskan man mauled by blank. Ex-wife. Human. Yeah, if I set the precedent. I'm going to say Cuban on bath salts. All right, so he's Florida man. <laughs> wow, yeah. That could still be his ex-wife, dude. Uh, uh, sure. that, that, one, that, one, that one, that one, polar bear. Polar bear. Mall. Yeah. One. Mall by polar bear. Oh, but that didn't ha happen in Florida. <laughs> no, it didn't happen in Florida. Oh, it just happened in the world. Right, all of them just happened in the world. Well, not a lot of polar bears in Florida, I think. That's true. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Chaos ensues after blank escapes in crowd of tourists. Six injured. Oh. Florida man. I'm also going to go with Cuban on bath salts for this one, too. I, I want uh, bam, uh, bamboom? <laughs> <laughs> I, a bamboom? I, I, that's it, that's it. Chaos <laughs> ensues after bamboom escapes in <laughs> crowd. Is he a wrestler? Six <laughs> injured. <laughs> it is a Florida man. A Florida man. Jeez. Woo. So, so wait, man. when he escape from jail? Game. He escaped. I don't know. I didn't, again, I didn't read the articles. I just got the headlines. I think I remember this story. He escaped from Costco and got and wild he, as fuck and on the street. <laughs> and he fucking attacked six people. Oh, yeah, we can cuss, wow. right? Yeah, we'll curse all you fucking want. Fuck uh, yeah. PCP involved in blank attack. Well, I'm like a wild animal. That animal got a hold of some angel dust, said some shit right. I like it. I want to go with animal on this one, too, because it just seems like a fun Disney movie gone wrong. I keep getting them wrong. I'm <laughs> going the opposite of these fuckers. And they've both gone animal. I'm going to stick with my system, even though it's failing. A bamboo? And, and, go, and go with a, <laughs> another baboon. <laughs> PCP involved in baboon attack. He's oh my god! Correct. And make sure that is a hundred percent. That's like, fucked up. Right, Verification right now. Right, Wait, literally first off, baboon attack. That's on the planet of the apes. Literally baboon attack. What monkey got his hands on you? Play the game. Baboon. You make the game PCP come to you. PCP involved in baboon attack. Uh, from what I read of the grass from the article, uh, PCP, <laughs> and then went to the zoo 
and uh, thought he could fight a monkey. And tried to that's fight what a you bamboo. Do. Game over. A bamboo. Why would you try to fight the animal that's most like you? I love. I love. I was he stole very, your PCP. I was trying to hold in my excitement. Every time he said baboon, I was like, if he doesn't say baboon, <laughs> when I get to the actual baboon answer, I'm going to lose my fucking life. That's hilarious. Uh, Trump supporter attacked, attacked by blank at rally. Trump supporter. Well, it can't be. It has to be a wild animal because all Florida men voted for Trump. And it can't be a baboon because that answer has been said five times. <laughs> So, and I put it in one time. <laughs> so, what do you got? Repeat it again. So, it's Trump supporter attacked by blank at rally. Owl. Love it. Ooh. Probably an eagle. JJ. I might stick with <laughs> the aviary as well. I'll go, uh, 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 eagle. Eagle. Ooh. No. Uh, Trump supporter attacked by Florida man at a rally. <laughs> he was a felon, that's why he couldn't vote. He was jealous, like, I won't vote for Trump! <laughs> I mean, they uh, probably voted for him. <laughs> that's why he's upset, because he wanted to. I thought that was, was a good curveball, because I felt like most Florida people are assumed as, You got us. Yeah. Uh, blank breaks into home and devours fridge of steaks. Oh. Blank. Was that you, Chris? Home Was that Chris? And devours <laughs> fridge of steaks. Oh, what a dick too! Because that guy probably is... put him in there to thaw him, and they already thawed. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna come home and cook these steaks." Right. I'm gonna say that was an animal because a human would have some more fucking self-respect. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't say if he cooked the steaks afterwards. It does not. I mean, because I guess that would give it away. I would give if it away. If that were an alligator that cooked the steaks afterwards, the next <laughs> level, they'd have their family. own show. Sure. <laughs> Dude, that's a um, million dollar animal. <laughs> yeah, <I> know, right? <laughs> well, it's cooking. Um, Welcome to the cook the files. <laughs> cooking with the alligator. I'm uh, going to go with animal. Animal? Yeah, it's going to be an animal of some sort, I'd say, but I can't think of... Can't think of. Uh, everyone's I don't know Florida. I, <laughs> everyone's wrong on this one. Elk. Florida man breaks into home and devours fridge of steaks. Was it rip torn? <laughs> <laughs> I think I it was me. It was torn. me and Chris together. That's why you knew you the headline already. You imagine coming home and seeing a dude sitting on your couch all bloated and fucking napped out from fifty just steaks, ripping through, just ripping through steaks. It was My a uncle, I, I mean, oh, I would just shoot him. Dude, I got caught when I was a little kid. <laughs> My uncle Gary. He's dead. Uh, I, I stayed with him for a year back in college. And that was pretty much what I greeted That's every a, day. It's a magical. Going. We're gonna get back into Gary because uncle that sounds... Gary and his raw steak habit. <laughs> Beef tartare, it's expensive. All right, we got, uh, we got our final one. Uh, I'm going to choose between the two I have. It's really All right, exciting. here we go. Ready for this? Pressure's on. Sheriff's Department on high alert after blank attacks kindergarten classroom. This sounds the most Florida man to me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to say animal, wild animal. Wild animal, yeah. Chris. And I'm going to say alligator. Florida man. Florida man. Hedgehog on PCP. Hedgehog on PCP. <laughs> and the winner and the winner of the entire game is Grant Cotter, everybody. That is a Florida man. <laughs> Sheriff's Department on high alert after Florida man attacks kindergarten classroom. God damn. This kid goddamn. didn't get accepted, man. That's Come brutal. On, Florida. He's just like, I can't handle this anymore, and I want to fight these children. My kid's homework's too hard. Who knows how to divide? And then he's fucked them all up. Uh, I can't believe... Bamboons. They're all. Like, he still can't say oh, baboon. <laughs> he still can't say answer. baboon. I am so well, you're happy. You're adding an M. It's not bamboon. It's baboon. 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 Baboon sounds wilder. It's baboon. tired. It sounds like a sick type of baboon. It sounds like, like, really it sounds like a wrestler. Don't should. fuck with the baboons. Bamboon. Don't fuck with the bamboon. That could be your new punchline after every joke. Yo, right. bamboon. Hamburger. Dude, he's the oh, shit, man. No. I'm enjoying this too much now. <laughs> Good. That's the whole point of the fucking show, Jay. Yeah, hey. I was sober 30 minutes ago. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Go, bring us into the next game, my man. Uh, man. The next fun thing, it's just a segment of uh, fun stories we're all going to tell about getting fucked up. Usually I start it off, but since I introduced the segment, JC, why don't you lead us off? I got you. All right. Uh, he's washing his hands explain, right now. Explain, why don't you explain the whole the game first, huh? They're just telling stories. There's no game. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna, we're all gonna tell a story about getting fucked up 
where maybe it went crazy or it went, you know, some something occurred and it went it went off it went off hand. So uh, I'll I'll now now that it's explain. Guys, right now we're each gonna tell a story about when we got <laughs> fucked up. Nice Thank you, this is my man. first time on the show, but I'll tell you guys what's about to happen. <laughs> oh my! Tell a story I said I about said all those things. Got you you up. said none of the things. Chris Cope is a horrible host. I am a terrible host as well. But it's just... No, I said that, didn't I? Right? You guys, how about a round of applause for our hosts tonight? <laughs> they came all the way out here for just being in the show. You know, you're a great guest. Chris has an upcoming comedy album coming out, so yeah. please click the link, subscribe. <laughs> it's called uh, Sometimes I Know What's Happening. Uh, so, um, I am, I'm a drunk. I, I do drink. No. I do drink a lot. And I, I drink met a you lot. in Vegas. You were drunk. I'm cutting off his story. No, 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 it's a fun Carry one. Carry on. I, I do. No, yeah, yeah. We, we met in Vegas. We were very intoxicated. We were shit face. Shit face. Three days. Um, we don't share stories either. But I, I, I wasn't time. always with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, uh, so I went to a bar with a group of buddies. And I got <clears throat> aggressively drunk, and uh, someone I, who looked, my buddies all looked the same in my brain. Someone ordered a round of shots at the bar, and they looked like my friend. So being an asshole, I was going to walk up and take as many of the shots as I could <coughs> without Excuse them me. seeing that I'd done it. That's JJ. <laughs> So I, uh, right. someone had ordered around of like four What'd shots. What'd you eat, bro? <laughs> was it bad? Oh no, it was bad. You like, you like fucking it projected it. Into Tecate. <laughs> Tecate. Tecate light. It'll, it'll stink. Brewed with sewer water from it'll the gutters of Tijuana. It'll stink in there. Tecate, it's Spanish for ooh. All you got is Tecate. Tecate. Uh, do we have to have Tecate? Tecate for when water won't do with the swap meat. <laughs> Tecate, sure Next it's warm. Dos Equis now. <laughs> Damn. You're like, you get gotta, ready. I'm fucking getting ready for that third X to hit. Um, this stranger had ordered a round of shots. I walked up. Uh, as he turned to try and start passing them to people, he ordered a round of five shots, I think. Uh, and I walked up and took three of them, <laughs> attacked them aggressively, and then turned to him. Thinking it was my buddy, and went, ah, ha, ha, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> not what, uh, not what he was expecting. Not so he turned around and went like, what the fuck? Tried to take a swing at me, but I was very intoxicated, and in the aha, you fuck, I had slipped and I fell backwards, <laughs> and I landed on the floor. So he swiped at me, taking a swing. And it barely grazed my nose, but it was like the wind of his hand <laughs> knocked me out. Because when I hit the floor, I didn't get back up. <laughs> like I hit the floor and I was done. I hit the slammed into the floor, uh, and then I got kicked out of the bar. And I don't remember any of this. I, I was dragged outside by whatever number of bouncers it took to get me outside. And then they put me into a car, my buddies. Uh, an Uber, and I got back to my apartment. This was in Florida, so not living with this man. And I got inside of my apartment, and I urinated on my roommate, thinking Ooh. that his bedroom was the bathroom. I've done that. I've had a pee in you my. Pee? I peed my on ex, my roommate. Ex now ex girlfriend. Were I, you laying in bed with I, her though? I did, and I got up out of bed, and I went and just pissed in her closet. No, oh, that's not so, that's like, not as bad as I did. I walked up to the edge of his bed. <laughs> These are all still him, weird. Peed on him. <laughs> all right, have you done this one? I did this room, one one time. My roommate, my roommate, I passed out on the floor after I pissed on him, and my roommate dragged me outside of the bedroom, and he he dragged he you outside. He dragged me outside <laughs> of his bedroom, and he urinated on me in the living room. Oh Jesus! And I woke up, and I was like, "What happened?" And he's like. You pissed on yourself. Yeah, you're sleep pisser. That's, some yeah. people it's pay okay. a lot of money to have that done to them, yeah. so you I, got a discount. Yeah, yeah, I was on the road once, and my girlfriend was visiting me, and I got out of bed after a night of drinking and doing whatever with her, and I got out of bed, and her suitcase was still on the floor, and I went over to the suitcase, and I sc scooped. 
<laughs> I thought I was a wolf. Scratch. I thought I was a wolf. I remember telling her this too. I, was like, I get down in the suitcase and I scooped her clothes out of the suitcase and then just had a squatted. <laughs> Pissed right there in her suitcase and just pissing. You pissing and, squat? Uh, and uh, I thought I was a wolf. I thought I was. I was so sure I was a wolf. <laughs> I could see the lake. I was taking care of my pack. Shit was cool. I was like, all right, ladies, just up right there. Everything's safe. And then I just woke up with her hitting me with a pillow, just yelling at me, "What the fuck's what wrong are with you? you? Doing? What's happening?" <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> and it was, it was fine when I you finally. You don't even say that when you play. When you're, when you're being a maniac. <laughs> Thank God. She, I mean, I'm not with her anymore, but she <laughs> at least she had it set no, there for the rest shit. of that trip because I pissed all over her uh, iPhone, iPod. She called it the pee pod for the rest of the trip. But luckily, I think, I think she was. Like, I think she was. I am, now I'm thinking back, I understand why we broke up, babe. <laughs> I also love the fact that you were the one being like, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, the person doing the insane us. thing when they're shit faced is always the person. I got, burn my house. It's fine. I got, I it's got, okay. I got this. Okay, I lit my cigarette though. It's good. It's fine. I'm at a hot bath. Great. Well, I gotta be honest, I've never fucking been peed on or pissed on anything. <laughs> but you know what? If this episode gets wild, JC, you're peeing on me tonight. Let's do it. hit the $700 mark on our Kickstarter. You can pee on me. That's very exciting. $750, you pee on me too. Hell yeah, $800, pee on all four of us and stick a Twinkie in our ass and see if it fits. Right now, honestly, so so far, as long as our episodes have gone, uh, it's Grant, Grant and Lachlan are up for best hosts right now. <laughs> right now, best hosts. John and Chinadu. Oh, Al oh. Chinadu was fucking great, and John too. You guys are pretty hard on yourself. Yeah, yeah you guys are the yeah. best hosts. We don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, we know the truth. Hey, tell us about it. You know, walk off your own show. <laughs> Let's hear these stories. Please comment. Um, you're right, I do have a story about DMT. What a great host. Uh, That's great. Okay. We haven't had one story about no DMT. No DMT? We've had ayahuasca, we'd have acid, mushrooms, a lot of drinking stories, uh, some weed stories, but no DMT. DMT was weird because I'd always heard about it as like DMT is the things like released in your brain when you die. So I thought it was going to be so fucking insane. That seems terrifying. Yeah, you, that's like not a good sales pitch for somebody yeah. to do drugs. <laughs> like this happens right before you die. This is horrible. Uh, you want to smoke it? Like you go when fuck. You fucking die. Yeah, you go okay. And so I was going to Joshua Tree. We're trying to get mushrooms from this dude. My friend goes in this guy's house and is like, "I'll be right back. I'm getting the mushrooms." He's in there for like 35 minutes, and then he, he comes out to the car, he knocks on the window, he's like, dude, you gotta go in there with me, this guy's got DMT, I'm gonna smoke it, but I need you to like watch because I'm scared he's gonna touch my dick. And I was like, what an, uh, odd, what an odd fear before doing a very intense drug. Yeah, exactly. But I was like, what were you guys doing alone for 35 minutes in the first place? He just kept whispering to him, hey man, I have mushrooms, but if you wanna do DMT, I'll touch your fucking dick. You want a discount? You want a discount? I'll touch your fucking dick. If you go to sleep on DMT, I'm gonna touch your fucking dick. So that he had a fear. He had a legitimate that's fear. That's a legit fear. He said it to him. So no that's one's touching anybody's dick. Th that's what he he warned me about. So I go into this guy's apartment. It's actually super fucking nice. Like a lot of cool art everywhere. He had a mantle full of Emmys. Like he did something in television. And so then I was like, <laughs> Where, oh, are okay. Where are you? Where are you? Did you buy DMT? <laughs> <Where are> you? <laughs> Hollywood DMT guy. Yeah, show you want a picture. Yeah, come on down to the ATC network. He had like for one thousand dollars in our Kickstarter. Sorry. You can get your own show on the network. Do DMT. Will we'll pee on you and give you a Twinkie for the apocalypse. And then I'll touch your dick. I call that first year in Hollywood. <laughs> Dude, so, so I'm in this guy's house, he's got the Emmys, my homie sits on the couch, and this dude's like real holistic, like Buddhism, like statues everywhere. He went, he left, and then it was just me and my friend in the living room, he's like, this guy's kind of weird, huh? Go, yeah, but he won a bunch of Emmys, so like maybe, like, maybe he's not that weird. Not like so maybe he, I was thinking like, maybe we could just like touch his dick and then get like a guest star on a TV show or something, you know? I don't know how Hollywood works. You said SVU! <laughs> <laughs> I love how you had your escape plan. <laughs> 
I go, maybe, <laughs> like, maybe. Maybe we can get this maybe down to a right. dick touch and then just like, quick it's escape. It. It's worth it. We're here. We're having a good time. So. I love it. He leaves, he leaves the room. He comes back two minutes later and he puts on like a robe and he had like a headband and he got like real into like this ceremony. I thought you just like smoked DMT and were like, I'm fucked up. But like, no. this fool made my friend sit on the couch, like put these like crystals down his body. Dude, he sounds like the first then, guy to die in a Tarantino film. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the like guy. Kids in the room doing some Reiki and shit. That's what he was he was trying to heal him before he did the DMT, so oh, he's in the right mind Jesus. space. I put it, yep. So then he's like, he's, you know, my friend, he smokes it, he lays down. The guy's got like some whistles and shit, like bells he's dinging, putting him in this translucent state. And then my friend is totally fine for like 10 minutes and then wakes up and was like, that was insane. You have to do it. And the whole time I was like, you didn't see what the guy was doing to you. He was like going over your body like this, <laughs> like taking measurements visually. Like, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what the crystals were for. So then Nobody I, knows. Nobody knows what the crystals being the are guy for. To die in a <laughs> I, I'm like, all right, I'll do it. So he, he lays me down, they put the fucking rocks on me, and, and he's doing the weird shit. But I can never fully get into it after I smoke it because I go, this weird dude in a silk he's robe. He's like leaning is, over me, yeah. and like trying to and touch he's, me. He's and ringing shit. the bell too near my dick for too long. Like uh, when he did it on my Just friend, like his whole body. I don't know Shock. what. He found my pH balance or some shit. Then I take the DMT. And it's like the whole world was treadmills. Like everything I saw, different like paths. And I went into this place and there was like this big glacier iceberg with like someone like Bjork. And then I saw this weird little court jester guy and he was just like, <laughs> like he was like trying to get me to come somewhere. And then I was like freaking out. So I opened my eye and then that's the end of the DMT story. That's the DMT sounds like, like shit. When you open your eyes, and you just sober up. Yeah, you're just like, oh, well, that, that was it. What, what, what is DMT? Like I don't, I'm not recognizing head. this term, but I think it was, just, it was like trying to get you to go to some place, and you were like, dude, I want to, but like, there's a guy outside of this who wants to try and touch my dick. So I need, I Did you know who he was? Happening. It was the Noid from Pizza Hut. Shut you remember that fool? It was the fucking Noid. Wasn't it Little Caesars? No, nah, he had this. That's Caesar. That's Little Caesar at yeah, Little man. Caesars, man. Who's Pizza Hut the noise? Is, okay, is DMT like acid? No, or? Domino's <laughs> had the noise. What's DMT? Domino's. Domino's I need to know what DMT, know what DMT is. is. Papa John it's just not. has that creepy guy with the face. It's a white guy. Yeah. yeah. It's just the N-word. Papa John like Molly, Schneider. Was it? We'll hit it down. So DMT. Grant, explain it to him. Uh, DMT. It was like a powder. Like he. It was like a weird little powder, and I smoked it out of a pipe. It's a Maybe I might have done it on top like of heroin. Weed. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, that's is, a different story. <laughs> what it is described as is the chemical that releases in your brain uh, when you die. But then I'm like, how do right. they get it? Is it you're from your brain? Pulses, yeah. yeah they, it's like I I've smoked only, some dude's brain. I've only seen get the it the unless they create it synthetically in a lab. I don't know. We need a fact checker. We don't. Yeah, yeah and, this is like Chris. Give okay, me, I gotta be honest. Research, Chris. That sounds like math to me. Chris. Can I tell my story? He doesn't want to do research. Uh, guys, it's your show, buddy. Do whatever you want. I got it. Hold on. Listen. What's DMT? And if you know what it is chemically, tell us because we're confused and Grant did it and a man tried to touch his dick. He touched my dick with a spiritual bell. With a bell. And I mean that in the most literal rang, way yeah, possible. Yeah, man, he rang your chakra. It was going <laughs> wah, wah, wah. But That's he had it. Emmys. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the biggest casting couch wine <laughs> ever. Like if anybody was going to touch but, my dick, it's a dude with a man yeah, full of Emmys. He's a good guy. <laughs> you don't know him like I do. Emmys. I know. Uh, my story uh, is the first time <laughs> I got my... My, I lived with a foreign exchange student for about six months. He was from China. His name was Tear. And we got along pretty much all the name time. Name dropper. Right. <laughs> Sorry. But his, he, uh, his name was what? Tear. He just, that's how he pronounced it to me. I was like, cool, I got you. Tear. Yeah. We so, out there. <clears throat> he, uh, Check us out. He would always, Tearing it up. He would always stare at me, like watch me legit like an animal smoke weed. Because he'd never done it. And he was always just like, and he really couldn't communicate and ask questions because his English is shit. So he just would watch me. And finally, like in the last like week before he moved out, I finally convinced him to smoke. Do you remember that dragon one hitter I bought off you? Yeah. This thing was about this big with a bowl. The bowl was fucking huge. And I was in a tough spot at the time. I, uh... <laughs> I, I know he was moving and he wanted to just downsize. He, he told you he had a one hitter. <laughs> it was it was a, basically a steamroller one hitter. When I was in college. It I, had I mean I had a lot the, of weird the, stuff going on and it was tough. It was really tough. And so, uh, I sold some of the glass pieces I had. 
to me for cheap. It was great. That's what friends do. So I pack a big ass fucking bowl and we smoke it together. And he's just like, I'm like, are you high? And he's like, no. I'm like, oh, what's wrong, man? Are you crying? I'm laughing. I'm so okay. <laughs> what a, what a, what oh, no, just so I, I start getting him high. After I'm the first, here, man. I'm on board. After the first bowl, I was like, hey, are you feeling? He's like, no. I was like, oh, okay. So I ashed it out. I packed up another fat fucking bowl of that thing, smoked it with him to the head, and he just goes, oh. Racist. That was, no. That was cultural appropriation, <laughs> no, it was not. to be honest with you. He went like, it, like the most racist thing ever. He just went, shut up. You're 100% right. You're correct. <laughs> I mean, my at it. <laughs> no. He just literally all of a sudden went from, I'm sober, I'm fine, to, oh, fuck. And, how, and what was the noise he made? Yeah, that's usually oh, how it goes. Like, it was just like, oh, oh shit. Oh, wait, what like, noise did he do? He like, oh. Like, oh. He, like he saw Godzilla. Oh. Okay, Chris. Oh. Was Stop he eating it. chow mein afterwards with the munchies he got from your drugs? No. You pushing drugs on the Asians, Chris? No, this is what actually he did. <laughs> For the rest of the night, first off, he goes to cook a steak in the oven, puts the steak on a glass plate, puts it in the oven. So 30 minutes well, later, we're good. sitting in the living room and it sounds like a grenade goes off. Yeah. And I'm like, what happened? He just goes, oh no. He just goes, oh no. I'm like, what? I open the thing, there's glass literally blown through the oven. Like, it, literally the glass is like melting and shit. Like, and the rest of the night, I hear him walk to the fridge, open it. I was sitting on the couch. I watch him, he'd open, stare inside the fridge, shut it, go back to his room. <coughs> Did it like 15 times. Never took a single thing. Yeah, uh, welcome to my life, bro. Like, you don't do that? No, I usually, I mean. That's I, the most normal thing in that just story. just watching a full grown man get that high and it was just such a, like, mind bender for him. You wanna know the most fucked up thing? story about him getting fucked up. I got fucked up with him, and but it was a He decided to just be very racist. I'm pissed that motherfucker <laughs> baked a steak. Who's baking steaks? You can broil it. Fuck broiling it. You gotta flame grill that shit. Get those nice little marks, dude. I worked at fucking Olive Garden. No, I'm serious, that's how he sounded when he did it, man. He, he just, <laughs> it was it. just so funny because I was like, are you high yet? No. And then it was like, oh fuck. It just hit him so fast. Mm. And I saw his eyes focus like I'm fucked. Like that moment you realize when you went from like, I'm not drunk to I've had 10 shots. I think that's the thing is in everybody, like uh, it's smoking or drinking. Like there is a moment where you go from like, I'm trying to get fucked up as best I can. Yeah. Where you're like working towards it. Yeah. And then you go like, Oh, fuck. Yeah, the problem is you only I've find out, out you find out 10 minutes ten after you did Oh, I got fucked up And he's up never smoked weed before. He's 27 years old. Registered. And he's never smoked weed before. So I kind of panicked. Like, I, that was my first thought was, fuck, man. Well, Asians have supple lungs. So, like, it probably, like, Racist. hit them in a different way. They're hiding. They're hiding. They're hiding. There's nothing I love more. What else hiding. do Asians when, do? When production is hiding and laughing. You guys want to find out what Asians do in their <laughs> real free time? Come see Chris's act this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> when his, when his <laughs> eyes <over> focus. <laughs> and how can we edit around what just happened? What up with Asians and cameras? <sighs> That's weird. <clears throat> and one, Anyways. two, three, four. <laughs> Hey everybody, man, it's been so fun. I've had a great time. We're gonna jump into our one of our games that we love. We love this so much. This is another game that you've never played before. <laughs> it is, it's a game we play it every time. And it's not a game. He's coughing it's on me, segment. he's sneezing on me. Uh, so what game is this? How can we hold get on, Grant sick? Hold on. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna enjoy Wasty. Uh, we made uh, an item that you can make uh, hammered or high at your house with a bunch of weird items that you could kind of like slam into a, like a really sweet and fun treat. This sounds great. <laughs> That's what the guy with the Emmys told me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> right before oh, okay. he started ringing a bell by your car. Ring, ding, dong. Ring, ding, 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 ding dong. Let's dig right there. <laughs>
gang, we're back. Yay. And we're about to enjoy this delicious treat that's been created. Chris, explain what it is. So this is the organic churro. Mm. It is a banana that you mm. slather in peanut butter and then you cover in cinnamon toast crunch dust. CTC for the kids at home. Alabaster. What? Hey, oh, was it CTC? Oh, you fuckers! CTC. That's not a thing. Way to right simplify your that own game. Goddamn thing. That's just because that's the not last even a word. No, nobody fucking got it. So you guys are like, well, okay, well, we can't. We gotta have it happen I this time. I have to ask this one. I'm gonna put it at the cameras right now. Who the fuck calls cinnamon toast crunch? CTC. Alabaster. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, no one it. fucking does. Yo, right. this shit is not organic because what kind of peanut butter is it? Cinnamon Toast Crunch for sure is not organic. You Compared need to, to a regular that. churro, it's pretty organic. Now shut Man, up and eat it. Seriously. Bro, I live in LA. Like, I used to work at Whole Foods. Like, this well, is my don't life, eat dog. It. Don't even fuck with me. I know the code for bananas Dude, is 4011. Dude, you used to work everywhere. You worked at Olive Garden. You worked at Whole Foods. You notched the shit up. Bro, I'm like two weeks away You're from right. being a Lyft driver. You think like my career is like where I want it to be right now? I have to work. It's actually right. fucking delicious, by the way. I, I understand it's it. fucking delicious. God damn, dog. I come up with it. Yo, you Bro, better God. trademark that shit right now. It's very good. Elvis Presley would love that shit. I don't know why there's four of them. What? One oh. each? Yeah, I'm diving in at different points. We're fine. We're Yo, up. whoever eats a whole one right now, just banana to the face, wins the fucking cartridge. Chris, go for it, bro. $1,500 gets me to eat all this in front of you naked. <laughs> Don't forget, with the $1,500 donation, you get to eat. watch Chris eat this naked, get peed on, actually meet Tear. We're flying him back from China to be a part of a very... <laughs> Oh, I just <laughs> choked on a fucking banana, dude. Are you okay? No. I half of okay. I'm like... $1,500 gets you all the things that Grant said before he died. And if you pay an extra $200, you get to have Grant's dead body delivered directly to your house. And then next week, when JC plays the game Florida Man or Animal, the thing will be... Somebody jump in with something funny. Great bit. <laughs> All right. Good. I think it was a really good idea to eat this because it's easy to talk with banana and peanut butter. <laughs> like, it's it really not is impossible to try and fuck it. Yo, take it to the next level. Let's bake it like the steak, put it in the oven on a glass plate, and let's see how wild we can get things here. If the plate explodes before this episode's over, you get a very special. I would say it's a promo I'm code. A, I'm it's a promo code. I'm, a I'm on board. He is the best host. <laughs> I'm a medallion of Chris Cope being racist. Ooh, a medallion. What a nice way of saying like acutely a piece of racist. Steak? Like a medallion cut of a steak? I don't know. Like a like, like a, an amulet of me amulet. being a racist. An amulet. How dare you? How dare I? Take it. I'm just telling a story that happened. Speaking of amulets, when the guy was waving the amulet over my dick, um, <laughs> and I really felt the DMT hit me, it was a surreal experience, much like it is being on this show right now. And I just gotta say that, let's just skip to the next segment where I ask JC to just take a shot of Malibu straight out of the bottle. Oh God, no, don't do that, bud. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna jump to BYOB in just a second. No, 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 you don't have to do that. This segment, it was unsanctioned. I didn't run it by the producers. <laughs> uh, I apologize, you guys. Okay. I'm sorry, NBC. I'm sorry, sorry CBS. Fault. I'm sorry, TBS. I'm sorry, C-SPAN and like the Bible it. Network. All right, we'll be right back. We're gonna, be, uh, we're gonna do BYOB next. We'll see you soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stick Bananas. around for a live performance from the Black Keys coming up right after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Impaired, where this segment we each make a different drink for each other and see if we like it. I don't drink, but Chris will drink double for me. And if Chris doesn't want to, JC will do it. JJ, how many are you gonna have? I'm already You're done, still gonna make so your own drink. It doesn't really matter. I'm All a right, guys. Guys. Oh, 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 oh. He was there, it was good. He didn't do it well enough, so we're gonna jump in. All right. Gang, gang. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Is Great. that a catchphrase? Yeah. Grant, jump in again. Tell us about the... So basically, here's what it is. Guys, welcome to the Grant Cotter Show. Today, my guests are Chris Cope, JJ Whitehead, and JC Curious. Curious? Curious? That was it. Are you, you curious know. about it? I'm curious about it, too. Now, for this segment, it's right called in. BYO... 
fucking something. Be I forgot the last fucking one. Bartender, thank you. Oh, man. there we go. Uh, so basically, we're gonna get a. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get uh, the name of the cocktail, and then a clue about said cocktail. Everyone is gonna make that beverage to the best of their abilities. Oh. And then I'm gonna try all of them. Give me back that waiver I back, signed because back. he's sneezed on me twice, he's burped on me twice, once with Tecate, once with Dos Equis, which is actually a lot worse than the Tecate Light, to be honest with you. <laughs> he's been a little bit uh, proper here. Yeah, that was directed in that direction. You should have felt that at home. They sent a lift to pick me up. The guy had so dreadlocks and smelled like boring. dirty weed. He listened wow. to too much Bob Marley redemption song on repeat, and Grant, then now. Grant, are you okay? <sighs> The Can clip. somebody get me the guy with the Emmys? Because I need to feel Grant, like I'm in a Grant, different place. Grant, Thank you. are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. You okay, bud? Guys, welcome back to the show. Here Thank we go, you. take five. I'm sure back. Grant, middle breakdown, hey, Grant, 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 hold on. Bring us into this one, Grant. Have you guys accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord I'm gonna and step Savior? in here, guys. The next game we're gonna play <laughs> is our favorite game we're gonna play. It's called BYOB, Be Your Own Bartender. They're gonna give us a clue and the name of a drink, and we're gonna have to make it, like JC said, the best of our abilities. He will be the judge. He will, uh, he will, what is it? You're judging on basically how it I'm, tastes. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about flavor. So I'm tasting the cocktail and telling you guys whether or not it can be sold at a bar or people wanna drink it, because I feel like I kinda know about that stuff. And then, uh, then, how close it was. There's also a winner based on who's closest. To uh, the and that winner, okay. the winner of it gets a bonsai vape brought to you by Bonsai Vapes. Thanks, guys. And I choose because I am the, the Lord of this segment. May we get the name of the beverage and our clue? Today's beverage is a Long Island iced tea, which is known for having a much higher alcohol concentration than t concentration than most highball drinks yeah. due to its relatively small amount of mixer. It's got like everything. You should have just said tonight's drink is everything. <laughs> I had everything hold on. at once. We have 90 seconds once I say go. 90 seconds. So we all gonna fight go. for the same 10 bottles? All right. He likes flavor, yeah, though, so uh, I know I'm go. gonna put something that doesn't even go in a fucking long uh, Take your time, guys. Oh, yeah? Because quality time. matters? Quality does matter. I have Let's to drink them. Try to be a monster about it, and I'll have to drink it anyway. Well, it's not monstrous. But it's, uh, I'm not strong enough to open these bottles. It matters. By the time you have your fifth alcohol in Long Island AC, just... Get that. Grab me a Coke. Some Grab you a Coke? Coke Not a fucking bar back, dog. This is a competition, dude. You don't watch Chopped and then ask the other guy for his salmon? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> also, congratulations, guys, on hosting the show for the first time that last segment. I was really proud of you guys. It only took five fucking takes. <laughs> fuck you, Grant. All right, here we go. Um, All right. Well, Yo, I think I'm pretty close. you guys don't have iced tea. Sorry, isn't there iced tea. tea in Long Island iced there tea? There is not. There is not. There is not. There is not. <laughs> there certainly was not iced tea. I think tea. I'm going to win. <laughs> but you motherfucker, you're going to be like, I Yo, don't know where the flavor is. Wait, is there Twinkie in Long Island iced tea? Do you, want, do you like Diet Coke or Coke? 15 seconds. Are we not allowed to ask? Go bud. All right. Do I gotta uh, pour it in a glass? Man, I just knew what's up. <laughs> He's spraying on me now. <laughs> <laughs> Drizzling it. All right. Uh -oh. You gotta take a top off, girl. <laughs> oh, we're okay. Guys, it's my first day. We're okay. I was a server at Olive Garden. They didn't let me work in the bar. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. <laughs> but I'm gonna start. Yours looks Stop. like a red. Put that down. <laughs> water, uh, okay. My lungs like Flint, <laughs> Michigan <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> it's cracked. We always start. Oh my God! Come Chris on. Chris, count, buddy. Go ahead. 
<laughs> Tell me what you got. Okay, this is what mine is. It is a little. Oh, we're supposed to remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Tangeray, that vodka, triple sec, and whatever the fuck Aperol is. I think it's rubbing alcohol. And then a little bit of coke. Fuck, mate. Give her a sip there, bud. Oh, good this, God. Half of this is 99 cent store alcohol. What is Aperol? <laughs> this club soda is a brand that got discontinued in 84. I'm just like. I mean, it, it's wrong. It's not terrible. Anyone else want to taste it? No! You <laughs> no, I, I, I always <laughs> ask. I always ask. It's fine. It's wrong. It is not a Long Island iced tea. It's that also like not, it. not good tasting. Grant, what have we got, bud? Well, I'll tell you what mine doesn't have is a Twinkie. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I put in it for sure. Triple sec. Decuopper triple sec, you know, just like in the bottom of your grandpa's cabinet. Mm -hmm. I probably, I don't know if I got three olives in there. I for sure had like Malibu rum and then some of this shit. And then I squeezed a little lemon in it, like a pretentious mixologist. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, and cranberry maybe, and maybe another alcohol. And I want you to try it. I'm going to try it. You don't even have to request that. Smell it. It smells. How long? It's a, it's a lovely bouquet. How long was it aged in the barrel? I think it was aged uh, 10 seconds. Look at the legs. It's delicious. It tastes fantastic. Um, clearly not a long iced tea, but at the same time. Why clearly? There's no iced tea to mix it with. There's none. It's supposed to have coke. Oh, no, 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 she has it's no supposed to have coke in it. it. Have a splash of coke. That's where the darkness comes from. Shut the f Really? Yeah. yeah. The more you know. Like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh. it is, it's actually very good, Grant. Thank you so much. That looks lovely. Do you think I could put um, like this on my resume? It's like a lovely Sunday it's drink. It's very tasty. It looks it's like, very like very a girl with a big floppy hat would drink with at brunch with a It's very sweet, but it's good. Oh, that's, you got Sunday afternoon sorted. Yeah, okay. That is Sunday afternoon. This, however, is Sunday JJ, my man, tell me what's in it. Try it. Tell me what is in this. Booze, motherfucker. I don't. Tell me all the booze. There's a bit of rum, a bit of vodka, gin. Yeah, it looks thick. I put some other shit in there. It looks thick, man. Lemon juice and some Coca-Cola. Yeah. And so I close my eyes for like 10 seconds and just sit. It looks like a fish diet. It's all in the formula. That is fucking rainwater. It's starting to look better as time goes by. It looks thick. It looks thick. Bottoms up. Shook it up, which you shouldn't do. There we go. It's Coca-Cola in it, but. This suspense is, I'm going to lose my barista license if he's at all disappointed. I can't believe there's not iced tea in it. I don't fucking hate it. It's like, what the I fuck have I been like thinking? It. I like it a lot, and it's way closer to a Long Island. It's pretty fucking close. It's the kind close. of Long Island iced tea I would make if I didn't have all the right things. So it's, uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Everyone else, if you may, if you, may you may try. I am good, thank you for um, that. It's delicious. Mine. It's no, delicious. You. You're no, wrong. Well, you're, are you going to judge and taste your own? You have to have Chris do it. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, but the, the bias, obviously. You have I, to I have... pass around everything. Yeah. That is actually it's pretty goddamn good. All right, it's I'll really fucking good. It's pretty try fucking it. good. I can't uh, decide what my own drink. That is actually mine really is good. whiskey, uh, vodka, tequila, rum, uh, splash coke. I put pineapple in it, uh, the pineapple rum. That's not, it shouldn't be in there. Um, as far as what an actual Long Island is, I was, I'm drunk, so I fucked up as far as creating the right one. There should have been sour mix, because sour mix should be in there, but. Is there sour mix here? Well, there's some there is lime. A, right, I did put lime in. I'm gonna try it. So, I don't think it's gonna be JJ's. JJ's was great. Mm. So. Our Kickstarter. <laughs> mine's mine's uh, mine's uh, it's a little thicker uh, as far as uh, amount of booze. Please intelligence. All right, let's hear what's in uh, the Long Island iced tea. A Long Island iced tea is made by mixing equal parts vodka, gin, rum, and triple sec, topped with cola and lime juice. I only yeah. missed the triple sec. Honestly, I, I gotta say this right now, just of general taste and how close it got. 
JJ Whitehead. All right. Congratulations, JJ. JJ. It's so everything I came here for. You just won the Bonsai Snoop Dogg I OG Indica it. Smoke Pen cartridge. You two can be doing weed with the youngins at the playground this weekend. Thank you guys so much Don't for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We'll catch you guys next week where we have a bamboo and the Asian kid tear. Do I eat it? No, no just have it. you just hook it up to your pen and smoke it, you child. You got to buy the pen, though. Sorry. <laughs> you need a battery? <laughs> That's a great a victory when you won five bucks worth of shit, but you got to spend 50 to have it. That's not true. It's like the price is right. Yeah. And the pens are 10 do you bucks. you not have a vape cartridge pen? I do. I'm lying. Shut the fuck up, then, you Actually, you can buy bonsai vape cartridges on the app Let Go from shady dudes with tattoos on their face. I've done it many times, and it's cheaper than going to the stores. The more you know, part two. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, uh, let us know where we can find you. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. What are your Twitter handles? What are your Twitter handles? I'm on, I'm on the funny. street corner. I'm JJ Whitesnake on Twitter because I like to bait 80s rock fans. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's Whitehead. Look at Google. <laughs> I love you. Come on, you, Grant. Where can we find you? I, I don't know so if I want to tell today. anybody, to be honest with you. Yeah, like, I um, love you. Uh, <laughs> you guys can find me just like creeping the streets. You can find me at the skate park smoking cigarettes with the youth. Um, no, you guys can just find me on Instagram or Twitter at Grant Cotter. Oh, I have an album. Put yeah, <laughs> let's see JJ's album. That's what I forgot about that. Guys, JJ Whitehead's <laughs> debut album just reached number two on the charts. Ladies and gentlemen, some amazing stand up from a very funny comedian, JJ Whitehead. <laughs> you gotta do two minutes well, now. How many hours? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not <laughs> important. It's the worst outro ever. Guys, let's oh, take it from the top. Good. It's a good video, or it's good vinyl. I'm it's pretty a hot. good video. I'm pretty hot. <laughs> We're all shit faced. I didn't. I should have watched the full episode of the one they sent me. I watched the, the first three minutes, and everyone was laughing, having a great time. And uh, then I realized what happens yeah. during an episode of the show. We don't have. This is worse than buyer's remorse. We have <laughs> volunteers remorse. May I say this? Uh, everyone who was crying or talking shit had a great time. <laughs> no, seriously, no, guys. Game wide had a time. Check the album. It's available probably through his website. You can, yeah, I, I, it's on Google. On. Or if you guys, you know what? Google. If you guys want to find me, I'll just Google. give you this one. You yeah, just gotta find me out. Yeah, you have one. If, if you guys, uh, if you're gonna be at a Goodwill inside Echo Park in about six years, I'm sure you can probably pick one. I gave them. They forever. can give me a copy if you submit Where to the Snoop Dogg him? Fund. J Snoop Dogg. J J guys, we gotta Where get Snoop Dogg on the show. <laughs> Listeners, viewers, however <laughs> you're you know ingesting Snoop. this, if you know Snoop uh, Dogg, tell him to give us a call. The number's right here below. Check it out. Look, we're like a high school party right here. We got all the best alcohol. We're killing the game. On Amazon. On iTunes. Tunes. Come on, pick it up. Spotify. <laughs> there you go. Um, there's also that one Beyonce has. If you have T-Mobile, yeah, yeah. you can listen to it on that one. Um, Echo Tunes. Other, other random. You guys got. I uh, put his clip on Snapchat ten seconds 90? at a time. That's how I like to digest it, and I, I'll share it with you guys. Follow me on apps that are dead. And weirdly enough, track listing. Wire. Banks, if you go really deep into stuff. the search engine and spank older wire, women. It, Hierarchy of Holes, Ooh. the GNR, All right. Bad don't Blind Date, yeah. Crooked <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> hey, I want to do this, and I just want to thank Greg Cotter, JJ Whitehead, coming by, being thank a part of this. Thank you guys. Glad you guys you had, had fun. fun. Yo, I had a fucking blast, dude. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys thank so you. much for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for hey, hosting. Hey, been another, you did it. uh, it's been great. It's been another episode you know. not hosted by me and Chris Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Bye -bye. your friends. We're looking for new hosts. <laughs>